Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you the difference between a chart that's horizontal axis is based on dates and a chart whose horizontal axis is based on text and show you how to create them. So let's say we have this, this data here. This is a random sample or random score uh, throughout some different periods. Now, since this is based on date, what it's doing is even though these horizontal labels here are equidistant, 930 to 2010, 2011, and 2012, the lines for the series here are different. So they're not equidistant. But as we see here, even though the, the late even though the labels for the horizontal are different, it treats them equidistantly. So the difference here is the same, but the differences here are separate. So it just depends how you want to show your data. So in this example, it gives you a good indication. Uh, let's say, for example, when the scoring is taken from, let's say, the second time period to the third, we see that there is a long range between, or there's a big gap between those, about six months. So you can see that visually here. But here, you can visually see that the gap between the score, the fourth and fifth scores, are smaller. So that shows up in here. Right, so the fourth, oops, here, the fifth and sixth scores, I mean. So the fifth and sixth scores are smaller. But in this example, they're treated equidistantly. So it just depends how you'd want to show your data. So uh, let me show you how this is created. Let me go ahead and copy this table. Control C to copy. And then Control V to paste here. And since I like keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to have, press the keyboard shortcut Alt. F1 to automatically create a chart in my worksheet. Now it automatically creates the default chart that you have in Excel, whatever you have it uh, configured for. And usually that's going to be a column chart. But I'm going to change the chart type and go under the type group and change the chart type to a line with markers. Click OK. And what it does what it's done is by default, Excel is pretty smart enough to automatically determine whether it will be a date-based horizontal axis or a text-based horizontal axis. So if I right-click here and go into Format Axis, you can see here in the Format Axis window under the Axis Options, right under the Axis Type, it is automatically selected based on data. So if I clicked on the Date Axis, you can see nothing has changed. But if I clicked on the Text Axis, you can see now it's changed to Text Axis. And these dates, even though they're spread far apart, they are equidistant from each other. And one way to tell that is to go ahead and create a drop line. So let me go ahead and delete this. And I'll just go ahead and delete the grid line so it's, it's a little bit more clean to look at. So to create a drop line, you go under Layout, and you go under the Analysis Lines, and you, you show uh, drop lines. So what it does is it shows these drop lines, so now you can really tell that you're equidistant from each other. So if I right click here, the, for the axis here, and go into Format Axis, you can see that since I have text axis, it's equidistant from each other. But if I had date axis, you can now see that they are not equidistant from each other. So it just depends how you would want your data to be viewed or how you kind of want to represent that data. So sometimes you want to show the impact of the scoring in this case, the scoring uh, based on the gap between the different score dates, or or if you wanted to show, show less impact and just show the gross amount of time time periods that it got scored, then maybe you just want to have it as text based. So it just depends how you want to show your data. So let me go back to sheet one. And so that's a difference between the date based horizontal axis and a text based horizontal axis. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a short link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.